Who is Tesla? I have not a clue. Is he German? Tesla? I have no idea. Who? Tesla, the one behind me? Tesla is, is one of those people that he gave us a lot and we gave him pretty much nothing. He was a visionary about things which largely turned out to be true. I mean, he had ideas so much bigger and larger than the sort of narrow-casted ideas that drove Edison. I mean, he almost made us think of science as kind of wizardry and magic. Wardenclyffe, he understood, would change the very nature of how we deal with the world. He had the belief that he would be able to transport energy from Wardenclyffe to Europe directly without wires. It was a dream based in reality. Wardenclyffe is a kind of, it's a kind of cathedral. It's a monument. It's a symbol of someone trying to do something great for all the right reasons to bring about world community. Sadly, it really has been a terrible last 15 or so years for that site. To let it just go to waste and crumble is a crime. What crowdfunding as we know it now allows you to do is just have the people that want to see that pay for it in advance. To see the fact that, that you know, the internet wanted to pay to repair the legacy of an inventor who's been dead for 70 years was really inspiring. The internet is really allowing many more people to jump in much faster uh, to support the ideas they care about, to fund the ideas, to catalyze change. People spoke, really, from all over the world saying that this place is important, this place really matters. There is a nut element to Tesla too, right? The problem I have with Tesla is whenever someone's talking about them, they always cross over into nut. There's a, a kind of a science fiction side to, let's say, Tesla admirers. Daydreaming and unhealthful pandering. I have talked with no scientific man who do not consider Tesla's claim absurd. Can only excite pity and regret. There were also descriptions of a series of tunnels that were below the tower. This was part of Tesla's grand idea of sending power without wires. 